Niger State Governor Abubakar Bello, who now heads the All Progressive Congress APC, Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, has announced that the zoning formula of the party is now ready. Bello also disclosed that the National Executive um, Committee of the meeting of the party will hold next week. Now, on whether the CPC Secretary, Akman Udoidega, is still part of the new leadership, Bello retorted, saying, ask him. However, Akman Udoidega has insisted that Governor May Mela Buni remains the chairman of the party, noting that Buni can only step down if he gets a verbal directive from President Muhammad Buhari. He also refuted the media reports that he has resigned as secretary of the CECPC. Well, joining us to break this down is uh, Byodum Shomi. He's a political analyst. Mr. Shomi, so good to have you join us. Mr. Shomi, can you hear me? Ah, <coughs> uh, great. I can hear you. Great, great. So, um, first, we got a shocker um, that the, 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 a new person is running the CECPC, even though um, Governor Mila Buni, according to reports, is out on a medical treatment. Um, and this is a few weeks away from the national convention of the party. Uh, there seems to be a lot. I mean, you and I seem to be having this conversation almost every other week when it comes to the APC. What exactly is the problem as we speak? Where do you think the this, this sheep of the APC is staring towards um, right now with the imbroglio of who leads the party? Yes, um... The background is that um, the governor my Buni was uh, Buni was uh, made the the acting chairman, you know, to steer the affairs of the party, conduct the convention, to throw up a new leadership, and that was the mandate which was given to him. Um, unfortunately, um, Buni had gotten the convention postponed three times to the chagrin of um, members of the APC. Um, the issue is not just about the postponement, it's just that on this occasion, it was alleged that he actually orchestrated you know, the, 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 the frustration you know, of the last convention to the backup, and then digging the ground also for future frustrating future conventions um, on March 26th. Um, by, you know, the alleged claim that there was a court order obtained uh, quietly with the cooperation, alleged cooperation of um, uh, the Buni leadership. Um, and that was not made known to many people within the party, including the president. So they felt it was a big affront that I could be the chairman, um, acting chairman, uh, responsible for, you know, um, organizing a convention, only to be the same person you know, trying to sabotage the convention from taking place first time, second time, third time, and this is the fourth one being the shadow. So because of that, um, some governors decided to move against him. Uh, they were in touch, you know, if you had to go by the accounts, um, elaborate account given by uh, Malam El Rufai, you know, the governor of Cardinal State. They were in touch with the president, and uh, when the president realized uh, what the game has been going on, so they decided to move against Buni, you know, in what seems like a coup. And of course, because Buni is not an elected, he was not an elected chairman, so it was easy to push him aside and appoint another, you know, acting chairman. And uh, in relation to his secretary, who is insisting he remains the valley elected into that office. So he will never enjoy the security of that office. Um, what they have is um, the consent of the president you know, to be there and members of the party. So if they say they don't want them any longer, then they will push them aside. And that's exactly what is but why is um, the, going on. Correct. Well, a lot of people are hoping that Mr. President will be vocal on this issue, speak on it once and for all, even though... Uh, lots of people would say, well, the president is trying to stay out of this. Um, we haven't also heard from the national leader, in quote, of the party on this matter. But what, what, why do you think, or what do you think is keeping Mr. President from speaking on this matter to clear or clarify to all concerned who the leader of the party is? And if Akwan Odoidega is on one hand saying, well, I am still the secretary of this group, 
And then some other people, on the other hand, are saying, rumoring that he has resigned or has stepped down. It does, of course, throw a lot of people into a state of confusion. So why is Mr. President not speaking on this, being that the convention is very close by? Yes, the president is well known for not being disposed to um, issuing statements or getting involved in issues like this. Um, secondly, is on medical leave. If you look at his antecedents, um, when there was a problem with John Oyegun, the president kept quiet for a long time until when Oyegun was first out of office. Then you, we had the Oshomole case. Again, he did not get involved until when Oshomole was eventually you know, removed. And I think it's in character of the president um, and not to get involved in issues like these and allow things to play itself out. And that's exactly what is going on uh, within the party. And I think he has the same style, uh, management style in administering the country. Uh, major national issues is not even to, you know, expressing his views in public. And I think this is exactly what's going on um, on the APC crisis. Now let's talk about um, those who, the naysayers, or those who are watching from the outside. Um, uh, Senator Dino Malai wrote on his um, social media, um, he somewhat celebrated the death of the APC. Um, he wrote more like an obituary uh, for the APC because of what is happening within the APC. And, and the, in essence, what he was saying is that the AC, APC is gradually grinding to a stop. Uh, do you share the sentiments of the senator? Well, that's the, the, you know, Melai's uh, viewpoint, um, which may not be shared by many. The fact of the matter is, which political party in Nigeria uh, is not a potential candidate, you know, uh, for terminal illness? Because they are all afflicted, one way or the other. Whether it's PDP, PDP has major, huge problems. They have zoning. Uh, in, their, in, their, in their party constitution, but they don't want to zone it. And that is leading to a major crisis within the PDP on its own. So also, APC has its own internal leadership crisis, which is what they're trying to work through. The rest political parties are neither here nor there. You hardly know whether they are even alive. I mean, we live in a country where we have many political parties who hardly, you know, will score 1% in any election. Are those parties alive? You know, so basically, which party is not um, terminally ill in Nigeria? I don't know. Hmm. But the fact of the matter is, um, I think the APC is trying to resolve their crisis the best way possible. If you look at what they're doing currently, rather than allowing Buni to scuttle the next election and the next convention, they decided to move, you know, get him out of the place and put in somebody uh, Governor Bilo, uh, with the mandate to organize the convention. Otherwise, there'd be a crisis if they shift it again on March 26. And that is not what they want. That's not what the party wants. And okay. that's why they have to move against it. Uh, it's all fine and well. I mean, what you, from what you've said, this is, this is done, or this is being done in the best interest of the party. But who's to say that someone's not going to pull the joker card just before the eve of the, the, the convention. We saw that happen with the, I think, the Kanu State um, APC, which led to another, you know, spanner in the wheels. Who's to say that there will not be another joker card pulled just before the convention? Because I keep asking, is this particular date sacrosanct? Well, there is, there is a possibility that the judgment already obtained by a member of the party uh, may be, uh, may, 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 may suffer, you know, with a view to scuttle the March 26 uh, convention. Well, whether that will succeed or not depends on the leadership of the party. If the leadership of the party is determined, you know, to go ahead, um, uh, basically, uh, there's this thing the court can do because what they simply need to do is to approach another court to, to obtain another order. Unfortunately, uh, our judiciary is being uh, tossed left, right, and center like a football. But there's not literally nothing anybody can do. An individual cannot arrest, you know, the convention of a party 
you know, for their own personal uh, motive, no matter what the motive is. Finally, um, let's talk about the fact that um, the president seemed to have uh, named a person that he thinks should lead uh, the party during the convention. I mean, the, there's a, a candidate that has been making the covers of our newspapers, and a lot of people have also frowned at the fact that Mr. President is taking a position of sorts. Um, and and we have been talking about issues of anointed ones within parties, and this is not just for the APC. We've seen it in the PDP. Uh, recently, uh, the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar was uh, interviewed, and he and he was asked if he was certain that he could get the ticket for the party. And um, with all boldness, he said, well, has he ever not gotten the ticket? Um, but Mr. President having to say, well, this is the person I want, is that not also one way or the other going to rub off wrongly and certain others who have interests that are, that are different from Mr. President's? You mean in relation to presidential candidates? No, no, no. In, there are many people who are running for different offices for um, oh, the party okay. leadership. in relation to the party offices? Yes. Yes, um, the president will certainly have a view on who should be particularly the chairman of the party. But we should not forget what they've done in APC currently. What they simply try to do now is to resolve all the problems of them. Uh, what they've done, what, they, what, what we call lateral zoning. The lateral zoning is about you know, dividing the country into two constituencies, that is the north and the south. And all the offices currently occupied by the North will now be moved to the South. All the offices in the South will be moved to the North. And then from there, you now have the micro zoning, you know, uh, within each constituency. So now zone those posts to different areas. So they are trying to resolve it in a representative way and in a way that would lead to less conflict. Mm. That is what they're doing you know, with lateral zoning currency. So given that, Mr. President will certainly have an interest in who succeeds um, 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 Governor Bello, you know, as um, the chairman of the party. But I doubt whether he will show which so much, with so much influence in relation to other offices within the party. I think those ones will be left, you know, for other uh, party shifting, you know, to to, to have um, some input. All right. Well, what happens on Convention Day uh, remains to be seen. I want to say thank you. Beardo Shomi is a political analyst, and we My appreciate pleasure. you for your thoughts. All right. Thank well, you. Well, thank you all for staying with us. In November 2021, it was reported that Nigeria had improved on the World Health Organization's ranking of health systems. Today, we round up the show with Nigerians giving their opinion on Nigeria's health system. All well, that is on Street Views. I am Mary Anakon, thanking you for watching. Plus Politics returns tomorrow as we give you a bumper package and talk for development. Good evening. They are improving all like the previous years. Especially in the general hospitals right now, there is a, a good facilities and the workers are really on ground. Now they have realized the reason to take responsibility on the job. In general hospital, they will show you abuse you doing this and everything. I can maybe government should help us to do the AK. I will like it. Everybody will like it. Basically, well, I think they are trying for now, but I think there are lots of work to be done. Like, um, we still have dilapidated uh, hospitals that are not really working efficiently. And, um, but basically, for now, it's still on five, should maybe 50% of 100. In a scale of 100, maybe 50% thereabout. Relatively, if you look at the healthcare system in Nigeria, I think to me, I would, uh, if I'm rating it, I'll probably rate it 70% um, in terms of percentage. And that's because there are some infrastructures we have in other well developed countries that we don't have in Nigeria. And that's one of the things I feel government should look into. I think there are still a lot uh, need to be done because uh, I've been in the different hospitals and especially the government hospitals, there are a lot of things that need to be done because um, the, the, especially the staffs, the staffs they have in Nigerian um, public uh, hospitals, 
they need to do a lot of things to correct to correct their their mode of talking to their um, patients.